Close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Now watch each breath as it comes in. Watch each breath as it goes out. You don't have to look anywhere else. You don't have to think about anything else. Just watch this one thing happening again and again and again. And ask yourself, is it comfortable? Is the breath too long or too short? If it doesn't feel right, try changing it until you feel, feel really good breathing in, feel really good breathing out. Of course, other thoughts are going to come in, but you can tell them for the time being they don't have to come in. You don't, you don't have to follow them out wherever they're going to go. You're trying to develop some good qualities in mind, your mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind, and your determination. You're going to do something you know is good. Training the mind is a good thing. You want to stick with it. You don't want to get waylaid, led off the path. You have to ask yourself, who do you want in the driver's seat? You want crazy people in the driver's seat? Well, that's when greed takes over or anger takes over. Those things are like crazy people in your driver's seat. They wreck the car and then they go running off and they're not responsible. So you want to make sure that wise people and alert people are in the driver's seat. That's why you're trying to develop your mindfulness and your alertness as you stay with the breath. Because after all, you don't want other people taking over your life, but at the same time, if you have greed, aversion, delusion, it's like crazy people taking over your life from inside. They sneak inside you and you think it's your greed or your anger, and you let them take over. That's where they fool you. So here's a chance to strengthen the good members of your mind, the ones who will lead you to a true happiness, the ones that lead you to be irresponsible for happiness that doesn't harm yourself, doesn't harm other people, and lead your life in the right direction. Takes the car all the way down to the road to where you want to go. So work at this exercise every day. It strengthens the good members of your mind. Of course, this is up to you. Do you who do you want in charge? The next time anger comes, ask yourself, do you really want this anger? Just the fact that it's in your mind doesn't mean that you have to follow it or you have to believe it. Same with greed. You want this, you want that. Well, do you really need those things? Most times we don't. We look, we're perfectly fine already as we are. You don't have to go believe in the advertisements to say that you need things you never even heard of before. You're perfectly fine as you are, as far as material things. When you learn how to think in this way, that means okay, the good members of your mind are taking over. And they keep the bad members at bay. 